looking dapper. Long loading time was long. Quite a lot of things here. We could go ahead and hunt pretty much everything else before we... Yeah, sure. Let's hunt everything else before we do the next thing. We may as well grab the parts, I suppose. I have not got a lead to the Kudiako, though. Because I don't even have um, a guide to the next place to find the parts. Uh, let's oh, it's behind me. Excellent. No! No! Come back! No! Ah! Sod it! It's a wily critter! Ah, too fast for me! Pow! There we go. Yeah, I'll have that. Someone has got a machine. What? The Dickens. Someone is looking for a machine gun. Thanks. I need to eat some steak. Oh, I think Aaron probably kicked the paratoad by accident. I have no idea what my bounties are at this point. I'm not even slightly paying attention. Just in case some of my bounties have something to do with mushrooms. Ow! It pecked me as I was coming down from that. Oh, apparently I've got to kill Kulia. That's cool, then. I'm going to have to go and hunt down some uh, dip for this pizza in a moment. Next up, we are going to hunt the Great Jagras. Be quiet. Off we go. Wait, Mila has a duster as a weapon? No. And even if it were, it's an amazing looking duster. No, to be honest, the first time I saw it, I thought it was going to be one of those crazy, like, super horribly torturous weapons that kind of has opening metal petals. You just stab someone, and it's it's like, uh, oh, what are they called? A um, something punch, and they just like chunk a, a huge chunk of your skin out. I thought it was one of those, and I was like, oh, bloody hell, that's a bit menacing. But no, it looks like it's a hammer. Mike. Have you. Also the honey. I 
forget what they called. Something punch. At any rate, though, they, they just look absolutely terrifying. No one uses a weapon like that unless it's a scallywag, I think. Uh, I totally went the wrong way. My bad! <laughs> one punch man. Uh, Looking one punch dapper. man is a little bit less, less uh, terrifyingly horrific. Uh, right. Thank you very much for the subscription, Radalf. Quick Jaguars. Where is it? it? Must be on. No, it's right in front of us. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's up, up top and it's still down. Ouch. That was rude. Ah, that was double rude. That was triple root. Hello. I will peel off your head. Twice, apparently. I'd much rather actually gain strength by smacking in the face. Go, so, what do you do there? Take it, please. Perfect. Carve it up quickly before his children are mine. Children are here. Okay. It's fine. We've already come up. Right. So, next on the list. Ah, ouch. Why don't you smack me? Oh, it's Mia. <laughs> right. There we go, Pookie Pookie next. And it's heading back to its uh, its nest. I am out of stamina. Means I need to chow. Good one. I'm going to wait until... Um, I found out to get my time at Porsche because it's going to be on switch in the fall. Oh, uh, you're going to wait till fall. Right, right, I get you. You know what? That actually seems like a really good switch game. That seems like that would be a fantastic switch game. I might actually get it on the switch myself, even though I've got it on PC. Right. Uh, Perfect. 
We managed to get... Oh, did we get the tail first? No, no, it's still attached. Oh, well, that's a bit of a noise. Uh, we'll return to... No, base, because I want to check on my progress. I guess I should be... Uh, cutting up as well. Oh, no, no. How are you doing, mate? Right off, I enjoy it. But if you're a lot more of a PvP person, then I'm not sure. Like, if, if you're the sort of person who, who got the most out of, like, Dark Souls by invading other people, then I'm not sure that this game would really have that for you this is much more of a co-op experience or kind of um competition in the sense of how quickly you can achieve something rather than um, direct conflict tracking ways like this thing a sniper ailment master and support all staff pick up the feathers exaggerated adds to the scout level really is, is that what adds to the scout level so I thought it was just hunting them. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll bear that in mind. Because that would make sense, but I once mentioned that, and I was told, no, 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 that's not just not how it works. Hmm. All right. Thank you for the, the tip. Um, um, um. Hey, partner. Let's go on an expedition out in the Great Ravine. I'll tag along. Hmm. Yes. I was so far away to get a good look at Zora Magros, but that didn't stop me from making a few key observations. Hold on. Hmm. There we go. We have apparent. Well, it doesn't look like I'm quite in the right place yet. I need to be a little bit further along. Okay. But at that point, I should automatically get guidance to where it is. Huh. Alright, continuing on with the hunt, I just want to secure Pookie Pookie so it can't drop below that level anymore. Once we've done that, then I've achieved everything I wanted to there. And we will start hunting Toby Kadashi instead. Hi, Ugrak. Oh, that's a nice picture. I like that. Right, I'm going to go and grab the last of the Pookie Pookie quests, I imagine. And we'll see what we can do. Your hammer is a flower slash feather duster. I approve. Hey, partner. Hello. Right. We could, if we want. 50 minutes on this one. Sure, let's do it. That way we're guaranteed an Anjanath showing. Okay. Now let's go and grab some gnomes. Uh, I just don't really feel that oven roasting is, is worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and get Chef's Choice. Having braces really sucks.
Having pizza, though, doesn't. Um, probably once I start getting back to the story quests, the animation will upgrade to me. But until then, we're, we're just waiting on it. There we go. Let's get out there and get probably the last one of the Pookie Pookie uh, quests we need to do. I got braces um, ages ago now, uh, Rad Alf. Um, maybe about eight months, something like that. Test, is my computer crashing again? Yes, all right. The answer is always yes. Huh. All right. Sure, let's go and do the uh, get the pookie pookie first then. I'm not seeing any feathers or anything else like that drop drop unfortunately. Idea what that was. I'm gonna have to check. Yeah, I just came in with a with a kind of cook. Come on, there's a door. Shenanigans, secrets. There's secret shenanigans going on. 
Got a smirk, too. Uh, hmm. Uh, doubly curious secret shenanigans. Uh, my weapons. Come on, me. There we go. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. A wyvent here. Marvelous. Trust the Anjaneth to be the one that cries. How you doing, Leafin? Ah! Almost went into the drink. <laughs> Hello, Kentucky Fried Yuya. -Yu. What a fantastic name you have. Absolutely fantastic. Well, it looks like Anjanath has run all the way up here. Right. Mushroom. Uh, I want to take it out a little bit easier than normal. I wonder. No, I'm gonna grab all of these while I'm here, because this may actually be what causes the uh, scout flies to, to go up. I mean, it makes sense because you're training the scout flies on its scent. But uh, again, I was told in the comments that that just wasn't the case. And I was like, ah, I'm far too trusting. All well, this time. Go. Thanks. Third. Ow, ouch. Okay. Really? Damn it, it's out of range. No, no it isn't. I managed to clip it in the tail, but... Uh, Technically, it's like, oh, no, it's out of my... Oh, really? Look, scumble you. I completely missed. I thought you were going somewhere else. Super bad. It's just, there's an Anjanath footprint over here. Oh, no, it, it was going down this way. Uh, damn it. Ah, bump. Or was it? I don't know what it is anymore. Stupid <laughs> scout flies! What's up this way? You're doing pretty well. Just came home from a day of board gaming. Hope you had a good weekend, Alec. I have had a really nice weekend, actually. Thank you very much for asking. I went to see Black Panther, which was a pretty awesome movie. And then I went up to uh, a hotel. A local hotel that I haven't been to before to check out what the bar was like. And it turns out it's was quite good. Really? Again? I'm not going to make the same mistake this time. Let's go. Oh, apparently I've not. I have not got it. Someone has it. That, that'll do. Bring, bring, bring back the red ass. Ouch! <sighs> what a scoundrel! Did a lot of damage to me. What board games are you playing, Leafin? Uh, we started by ruining our friendship, aka Monopoly. Then played some Munchkin. I've still not played much yet. I hear great things. But what I can do now is eat some more uh, some more pizza. <laughs> I approve of the dancing.
cold fingers. In an effort to keep my computer from catching on fire, I am suddenly freezing. I got the sport all star. Awesome. Mila will dust away our prey. Yes. That does seem to be the case. No, 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 no. Fire computer is not the best computer. Ice computer is the best computer. Everyone Parker, knows this. Let's go on an expedition out in the Great Ravine. No. I'll tag along. No. Right, let's see. Hand two large fanged wyverns. There we go. Bone piles. There we go. Uh, register bounties. What I would like. Uh, Small monster coming, yeah, sure. A large monster, hunt, sure. And okay, we'll take four. Right, let's have a look. Where are we in terms of my scout flies? Ah, oh, see, it's gone down. Dread down and blast. We need to get it over the level far enough that it stops trying to decay. But we did push Anjanath quite far along, so that's what I need to do. Um, okay, so if that is the case then, that it's all just about... It's either the last one you kill or... but Well, according to chat, how many signs you, you, you pick up. Then, all right, Puka Puka and Anjanath it is then. Uh, Post no quest. I hope that people are enjoying just watching me grind right now because obviously I I don't really have uh, much occasion to do this in uh, the Let's Play, but. I figure for streams, that's, that's a brilliant thing to do because we can just be chill while we're doing it. You're back with a nice cold beverage. What did you miss? Uh, not very much casualty. Also, still love your name. I have watched Erin fight a bounty in Final Fantasy 15 for a good 50 minutes. This is nothing. <laughs> Fair enough. And yeah, I can imagine this is nothing compared to some of the just raid practices that you might do for, for something like Final Fantasy XIV or even Guild Wars, honestly. Are you still playing Guild Wars 2, Leafin? With the, um, the group of Dapplings, Mai, Krom, Lyle, Annie. So delish.
Uh, Aaron, I would play Guild Wars 2 if Final Fantasy XIV didn't require so much attention. Well, that's the thing. Once you get into the high, like, sort of end game content on any MMO, at that point, that has to be your one MMO, more or less. There we go, I'm done. No more eating for me. Ooh, where's the old footprints? Yeah. Leave me alone, I don't want to have to kill you all. I'm actually really eager to get back to uh, recording the Let's Play of this, just so that we can check out the new areas. But I, I want to have, I want to have the time to gather the materials to make all of the nice weapons and all of the uh, nice armors. So, grinding is a necessary evil. And it's also actually quite fun. I wouldn't even call it evil. You don't play a game like Monster Hunter if you don't like grinding, basically. Or if you do, it's rather short-sighted of you. <laughs> really, the Great Jagras and the Anjanath right next to each other. That seems less than ideal for me, honestly. They've split up a bit now. Oh, I want to grab that. Leave me alone. I'm too hard for you to handle. Leave me alone. I'm also really knackered. I've run far too much. Where's my norms? Delicious, delicious norms. fun when you guys chilling out on the as well. And I don't mean that just because she came to the new team. You know, but it is actually just nice and sweet and tiny. Right. I mean the whole bringing me tea and food is, is quite nice as well. I'm going to get some new uh, beads and stuff to thread through my beard. I was saying it's lovely when you're on the stream because you're so nice to bring me tea and food. Hi. I was almost in trouble. Mm -mm. I love that. <laughs> she upset it. She thought I'd say something about her wanting food. And I said no. Uh, so she said, okay, you're forgiven. And I'm like, forgiven for the thing that I didn't do? Hmm. Not sure that's how this is meant to work. It's how it does work, however, so I sort of guess I should just get used to it. Oh. Ouch! Mila! Friendly fire! Blue on blue! Be glad you're even forgiven, Avak. Yeah, it's, it's quite true. Leave it, quite true. 
Uh, how magnanimous of she loved to forgive me for the thing that I didn't do. There we are. Grab the dogs as well on here. Combat is loud, or Avak is mumbling during combat. Um. Combat sounds quite loud. Oh, I wish people would have mentioned it to me. Let me see if I can uh, adjust that. It's not too much that I can do. But... Sound effects, I guess. We could take down a bit. Let's not go all that way. Is it the sound effects, or is it the... The music that is loud? So unfortunately, I can't um, do kind of um, I can't adjust this in post production because of the way the streaming works. I'd be able to do it if I was using OBS, but I'm using Slobs, and until Slobs allows you to record your commentary and um, the game audio on separate audio tracks, not much I can do in post production. You think my mic is a bit too silent? Well, you're gonna just have to live with that. I did ask so many times. That's incredibly frustrating that this is coming up again three hours into the stream. <laughs> I rely on you to give me accurate information, you scallywags. Let's see. I can adjust the audio gain a bit. Let's put that up to 8 decibels instead of 5. Ah! Melee, you scoundrel! There we go. Hello, Altharin! Right, which are we tracking now? Uh, yeah, let's track the Pookie Pookie. Now, one question I have is, does anyone scanning the, um, the, like, footprints and stuff like that count for everyone? Or is it kind of a race? So, for example, if, if Erin tracked the tracks of something, that's one track I can't check and thus uh, increase my scout fly level. Because that would be rather in inconvenient, I must say. Yoink. Also, I need to quickly sharpen my weapon. There we go. Yeah, I imagine you can hear me now. All I needed to be done was told that there was an issue. <laughs> Scoundrels. Oh, that's fine. Uh, hopefully it isn't so low that there's no point in me uploading this because that would be quite frustrating but we'll see come back uh no i leaf it it wasn't the, the mic was far away the mic records at a low level uh well i i say low the mic's uh recording level is 85 percent of the norm uh, that means that when I get excited or anything like that, I don't over, um, blow out the microphone. So my voice isn't hot on the mic. Uh, instead, what I do is I let the mic record at a lower volume and then uh, at runtime increase the volume. So up until now, the microphone has had a... Oh, the Andronath is down there. Uh, oh, actually, no, both of them are down there. Uh, so the microphone has had a five decibel uh, boost to it, uh, to the game. So when people said that there was a, an issue with it, I just increased it to eight decibels. So now it seems to be okay. Okay, cookie cookies down. Good. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get... Oh, actually, uh, well, I suppose we do have a chance. There we go. go forth! Get me its essence! Thank you. 
Not the face. I prefer the face. Oh, that's not where I want you to go. If you to hit it in the legs, then there. That's way too far away. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, that means I can... Oh, okay. No, it doesn't mean I can, I can uh, gather. Unfortunately, it absolutely does not mean that. It does mean, though, is that I can uh, wait a little bit. Okay, someone, someone's riding it. Okay, now's my chance. Gather. Sound effects is quite low now. Yeah, okay. I'll uh, increase that. Hopefully everyone can forgive me in the VOD uh, for all of this. Let's increase this. Back up to that. Okay. Oh, the trials and tribulations are strong. But yeah, like I said, once um, once the Slobs client, which is Streamlabs OBS, funny name, uh, once that is updated, then I'll be able to... Let's go to the leg. Maybe. Oh. Uh, then I'll be able to do things like uh, have my commentary layer and game audio on separate layers on the video. Much better. That's what I do with my usual recordings. So uh, post production is a lot easier. I don't even need to balance the audio normally. I try to anyway, just so that when I'm talking, the, the game isn't too loud and, and making my head hurt and making me distracted and things like that. But um, once you've got that balanced, uh, sorry, once once you've got the, the, the two separate audio layers extracted, you can balance them individually. So if the game is loud, then I just turn it down or I turn myself up in post-production. Legs. Ow. Grab some of the leg essence. Get the leg. Yes. Super powered. There we go. That's what we did. Oh, it's so, so incredibly satisfying. Ouch. Is that when you get hit by a rampaging enemy? That's less uh, oh, you're about to set everything. I'd rather not. I'd rather just be over here eating my well done steak. <sighs> oh my God. That was delicious. Right, moving on. Well. For a moment, don't mind me. Sound seems fine now. I am very, very happy to hear it. Again, sorry for, for those in uh, YouTube VOD land if up to now the audio has been really out of balance. Uh, hopefully, next time it won't be so bad. Oh, I love the fact that your axe is smoldering. That is amazing. That is absolutely awesome. JP, that's because in my videos of Monster Hunter, again, I do post production. So when the when I'm done with the video, I split out my commentary layer and the game audio, and then I put those two separate audio tracks into the video, and I adjust each track 
individually. So, for example, I might give a 3 to 4 decibel boost to my voice if I sound a little bit low. If there are times when the music gets suddenly very loud, then I might also give like a 3 to 4 decibel um, decrease to the game audio so that at its loudest it isn't competing with my voice too much. And that does sometimes mean that the quietest points become really quiet, but generally I think that's you know just, just uh, a reasonable exchange. You are the rodeo champ. Indeed you are, Erin. Take care, Ugrak. Yeah, I can imagine you'd prefer the quiet points get quieter than burst your eardrums leafing. You've got tonight, uh, tonight this, haven't you? Wouldn't that be, like, exceptionally painful for you? Hey, Who needs eardrums? Let's go on an expedition uh, out in the Great Ravine. They're pretty useful. As far as things go, I think eardrums are... Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. I dig eardrums. There we go. There we go. Okay, now those needed. You can have tinnitus even if you're deaf. Oh, right. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense, because tinnitus isn't actually attached to your hearing. It's just attached to the parts of your ear that do the hearing. So... But, no, I, I don't actually know too much about it. It's something to do with perforated eardrums or something, isn't it? Alright, now Pookie Pookie is really low. Much sadness and badness. However, I think now is the time for me to go and have a look at the these items and see if I can improve them a little bit. Wow. To the workshop. Right. Your gear holding up? Uh, my gear is doing quite well, thank you. Right, I should be able to make some more arms. Maybe. Actually, no. Oh, well, the Toby Kadashi, that makes sense. The Jaritotus, I haven't got parts for, and the Barath, I'm going to have to go and hunt Barath for. So, yeah, okay, that makes all, all makes sense. I've got enough now to make pretty much the entire Andronath set if I wanted to. Not sure I do. What I would like to do is first forge a bone insect glaive. I'm gonna just straight up make one of those. That's what that little hammer icon means. It's, it's a starting point. Right. Everything suddenly makes so much sense. Well, can't make it yet then. So we're going to have to keep going for a little bit. Hello. Okay. Uh, now we'll do this one. This is the last time I can do it. Now I'll be gone. There we are. Womp. See what we can do. I've actually really enjoyed just chilling out with people and just running hunts. Play with these points.
Looks like we've got the same crew together this time. You haven't seen that before. It was the cutest. Yeah, I love the cutscenes at, at the um, Meowskula Chef's Canteen. I absolutely adore them. I don't know if it's an everything ch like chicken joke, honestly. I mean, to be fair, they're also cooking meat and fish with every dish, so. Right, there we go. All right, the first stop. Ship oh, someone has brought the horn. Oh, that's amazing. Well done, Erica. I approve. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, dear. Wasn't quite where I meant to go. Am I meant to go up? I think I am. Can't quite tell. Where is it? It isn't showing it on my map, but alright, we'll go up. Oh, no, that's a jump. You can usually use. Oh, no, I did it twice. You can usually use X to uh, climb faster, but uh, not when you're climbing a vine, apparently. You. Yay, my bounty's complete. Why am I going this way suddenly? What? What are you ta- But it's over there. What? Oh, my lord. I have no idea where this is pointing me. My scout flies are being scallywags. My scout flies are being very big scallywags. What are you fighting? Oh, yeah, there it is. What my scout flies were up to, I have no idea. I don't approve of it, though. I need to grab lots of scout fly scents and such. Honestly, if it is just the um, case that this. I need to get the scout flies to get the scent a lot. Then trying to get their level up would probably be uh, more of a case. Actually, more of a case of uh, just hunting it and then just not attacking it. Just waiting. Wow, it's already slayed. Oh my god. Gather this up. My scout fights decided to go on holidays, yeah. <laughs> yeah, leave in. Just be thankful it's not as bad as the navigation in Xenoblade 2. Oh well. Right, okay, so next up then is the Anjaneth. Which is just around the corner. What on earth just happened there? Oh right. Neither. Punted us all. Once again, scallywag me. Just up here. Yeah. So I've got parachutes while I'm here. There we go. Yep, bring it back. 
Left the online session. Take care, just go. That's a bomb pot. A powerful type of slinger ammo that can do some serious damage. There we are. Perfect. Right, on the way. That's the healing effect from my um, kinsect. Class as a brute wyvern. Mm -hmm. Go for the tail. We're we playing Dark Souls now. Yeah, actually, quite a lot of them have several tails. Sometimes it's worth taking off simply because the creature is otherwise very, very dangerous and has a an attack that's associated with its tail. So by carving it off, um, by severing it, you prevent that kind of attack. But quite often they have an extra resource that you can carve from them, so... Mila launches out of friendship. I wasn't aware that there was a higher chance of getting the rare drops from the tail, though. That's actually pretty cool to know. 